get down. Reaper's on the left. I can add that. Oh crap. Uh, see dude, are you okay? I, okay, okay, okay. Just get to the TARDIS, the doctor requested to see you. Okay, anyways. Hello there, well, I'm Dr. Game and welcome to my corner of the internet. Unless the internet is actually a circle, in which case welcome to my rounded side, I guess. Uh, this is my review of the game by Bioware, Mass Effect 3, the sequel, or trequel, to Mass Effect 2, my might see dude reviewed earlier, and, well, it's an RPG action-adventure game, sci-fi themed, uh, and it throws you in a few months after the events of Mass Effect 2, after Shepard actually spoiler right here in case you haven't played Mass Effect 2 uh, you might want to skip ahead a few seconds where Shepard uh, defeated the collectors and blew up or kept their base depending on whatever you chose uh, after that you need to uh, you are pretty much stripped of your military rank and you are left on earth station there or not station but grounded there and the reapers are very close to invading earth so anderson comes to get you from your room where you're staying on earth and he tells you that you need to meet with the committee which is pretty much earth's council and they want to discuss the Reaper invasion with you, so that's the prologue, and then after you get there, they ask you what you should do, and then depending on what you choose, that's your response. Um, and then the Reapers come and invade very fast, because you lose contact with a moon base, and they come to Vancouver, where you are. Vancouver, nice city that is. Anyways, okay, back to the game. Um, and you are thrown into fighting a Reapers until you can finally get back to your ship, the Normandy, which, of course, is piloted by Seth Green. And, okay, uh, after that, you need to go to Mars and do some things there. No more spoilers. Or as my friend, my mate River Song would say, Spoilers! Um, so, after that, you are pretty much sent to unite the galaxy against the Reapers, so you can finally push back the threat and defeat them once and for all. First, you need to go to the council and speak to them to see if you can get easy support from them, but they pretty much decline flat out. I don't care what they say they pretty much decline and well yeah so then you talk to the counselor of the humans and then the Turian counselor comes to talk to you and says that you can get support from the Turians if you go to their home world and rescue their Primarch which is pretty much their leader and after that you pretty much are thrown into a series of missions by taking from varying from taking out Cerberus bases to uh, destroying Reapers and everything like that. And then once you finally get the whole galaxy united, you'll make your final stand on Earth, which I thought was amazing because you never really got to be on Earth in any of the other two games. Now something that I'd like to address a few things this is the good parts that I'm going to discuss first and then after I'm done with the good parts I'm going to discuss the bad parts okay so the first good part I really like how they added your ability to use any type of gun instead of set guns for that class and then a specialty gun at the end of the game 
You can use assault rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, pistols, and snipers. And my personal favorite, assault rifles and snipers are the heaviest. Well, assault rifles aren't the heaviest. Shotguns are the heaviest, and so are the snipers. But the assault rifles are heavy. Um, and they added a mechanic where if you have a certain amount of guns, or rather the guns have a certain amount of weight, the weight, the more weight that they have decreases how fast your abilities recharge. But if you have no weight on the weapons and a really light weapon, like let's say a pistol, a light assault rifle, or submachine gun, which are pretty much the only three possibilities, uh, then your abilities recharge very fast, 200% at the normal rate than they do normally. Um, and they also added weapon customization, not like designing your own parts of the weapon, but you get to like add parts, like scopes to pistols, submachine guns, uh, enhanced scopes on snipers, adding scopes on assault rifles, or adding like melee things like pistol stunners or blade attachments on shotguns which are like bayonets and after that you also have your squad customization which you have in pretty much all the games where you can choose what abilities that they use and then once you get past three which are the set ones which you can't choose then you can choose sprouting different types of abilities to get go on them like let's say you're using incendiary ammo the fire ammo after you get the three first then you get to make a decision between having squad incendiary ammo or increased ammo or damage um which i really liked the sprouting abilities in aspect two they only did it once with the end uh, abilities that you chose last. Uh, now, another good thing that I would like to discuss, the combat. The combat is significantly improved. The biotics, my one of my personal favorite ways to play as is an adept. Um, the biotics, the biotic explosions seem very good. They are very powerful and very well placed or very deadly if you have a well placed attack and biotic explosions also have a span of area of which they affect um and there's also the tech abilities that they've always had and the f weapon abilities And of course, there's this the there's my second personal favorite, the infiltrator, which is a combination of weapons and tech. And you always have the stealth cloak thing abilities, which I really like. And after that, you get to you can roll from cover to cover and move from er uh, and run during combat. It seems like. Shepard is a lot more agile than he or she was in previous games. And, okay, now time for the bad parts. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the bad ending of Mass Effect. After the extended cut DLC, if you choose to download it, which I strongly suggest you do, um, it gave closure to me as a big fan of the series and a recent fan of the series. Um, it's not that bad if you really think about it, especially since Bioware actually took the time to change the endings for the fans, even though EA is still the jerks and possibly one of the worst c companies in this world, and uh, yeah, it, they are not great at all. Now another bad thing is sometimes parts of the story seemed rushed. I can understand why since it's more of a military based game and you're trying to like 
it's an actual full out war instead of like operations and all that so I can kind of see that but I didn't really like it some of the companions seemed very out of place like ED seemed kind of like a boring character at times and Vega didn't really have much of a big part in the whole thing until the end really Garrus and of course my favorite Tali uh, she's also a companion but only towards the end which I didn't like um yeah and then there's cameos but from the characters but they board your ship but they don't really do anything they just talk to you and that's about it I would I would have liked it for it to have temporary like uses that you could have with them and that's pretty much all the bad things that honestly the there's not very many things wrong with this game I don't think um now I'll talk about the multiplayer the multiplayer is kind of like horde mode from Gears of War or Call of Duty or any of those games that have horde mode and I liked it but it's probably because of the fact that you could play as the different races of characters which you couldn't do in any of the others now of course they didn't have time lords in them because time lords apparently don't exist in the Mass Effect universe which I disagree with I would have liked to destroy some geth with my sonic screwdriver but you know if I could find it um yeah that's about all I have to say the sto the end of the game is very amazing it's one of the best parts like you get to see all the races banding together to fight the force united and all which I really liked now that's about it thank you for watching this has been Dr. Game and my review of Mass Effect 3 now, peace out.